How's the research coming there, Bethany? It's all right. I'm, I'm trying to figure out if I, if I did things right. It's really hard. <laughs> the internet doesn't like to give straight answers. You can't just... I'm, I'm serious. You can't just, like, look up a flowchart? No, there's, like, no flowchart. Really? Because there were so many flowcharts for Mass Effect. Like, if you had... Bless you. If you did this, and you did this, and you did this, this per you know, this person survives the suicide run. The, the, the way things are calculated behind the scenes, you need to have Morden escort people back because his is the lowest defense score of all of them for holding the line, this, that, and the other thing. All right, uh, J&B Gaming, until dawn. Uh, here we go. We're at the sanatorium. Looking up the butterfly effect on the wiki. Oh, okay. Sanatorium. Oh, look, it's my Canis Lupus! Oh, no, those aren't my Canis Lupuses. Those are, like, gray and black. Those are gonna be bad. I don't like the way you said black <laughs> night. Because mine from my vision was, like, white. Mm. If I remember right. Is that where we want to go? We want to go through that thing? Oh, are we going to do some sneaking? Uh-oh. Oh, that one's white. All right, here we go. Metal Gear Solid Mike. Did you really have to stand all the way up? Oh, okay, I did it right. Okay, so then I did it right. Yes. Good. Actually, I'm going to keep that tab open. I just closed it. I'm going to keep it open. Yeah, go back to your history. Reopen the tab. Gonna, gotta keep this part safe. Okay, here we go. But that's only gonna be with choices. That's not all deaths, though. Some deaths can still happen without, like, choice. Like, they rely on the quick time. Oh, okay. Right. That's why I kept warning you, like, get, get faster. faster! And I'm like, but I'm doing it pretty fast. Get faster! If you want all the trophies, get faster. I'm doing it pretty fast. Faster, faster, the, underlay, underlay. Well, because the th that's the thing is like, they get faster with, the the timing goes, you know, quicker. Yeah, and I'm still hitting it even though the timing is going quicker. That's the sound it makes. Oh, yeah, boy, you looked up at it. Because it comes out of the, when it comes out of the remote. Yes, I'm gonna pet my dog now. Oh, okay. You pet the you pet that dog. You pet that dog. He's a good Doge. He's a good Doge. So is. Why do you say Doge? You've never seen that meme? No. The Doge meme? Oh, that meme. With the little, with the little, I like... thought you were, like, saying, saying it because it's, like, in French or something. <gasps> it's Jordan Fisher! No, I don't remember what dog is in French. That was a white one? It was a fortune one. Fortune! Favors the brave. Aw, Bowie. <clears throat> you shook and made there, loud yeah. noises. If it got loud there for a second. Our dog shook. It was the dog. He got shook. He was triggered by this game. Stay woke, Bowie. I don't I don't blame him. He gets triggered when I pick up my sneakers. He gets triggered whenever someone leaves the house. Well, I meant like the triggered like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. But Oh, okay. He our dog has abandonment issues, so whenever any of us leave, he gets like legit triggered. So like he freaks out. He jumps on everything, and Joel and I, we share a bedroom, so we had to, um, Joel had to create a way to, like, seal the door. To so be fair, Mom created it. Oh, oh, okay. And they use, like, the bungee cord kind of thing, and they wrap the doorknob of our door to the closet door, which is right next to it, so that way Bowie can't bash it open, because he kept bashing it open, and jumping onto my desk, tearing everything apart because the window was right there and he'd be like, start barking like, come back to me! I'd try and, you know, bark out the window and look out the window. But when I say he gets triggered when I pick up my sneakers, he knows that oh, that's it. time for, for walkies. I didn't think the front door would be open. I meant to go look at the thing, but he's auto moving right now. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I want, yeah, I wanted I'm to go back and look loss. at that, at, at the, that little thing that the guy was in front of, that the maniac was looking at. Well, did it have a shiny? 
Well, I didn't get close enough because I thought that was the critical path. Again, I didn't think the door would be open. That one's not. No, it says locked right there. Can you go back? Let's try. Try it, try it, try it, and you may. Try it, and you may, I say. And a shift in the camera. Excuse me. Oh, maybe there, maybe that is going to be part of it. Maybe that would have just been me, like, finding a key and to open that. Eh. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know, Bethany. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, yeah, you can go back outside. Oh, there you go. But now it's dark outside. The lighting is, is different. Bowie, well, you, scr you scratch in my chair? Scritchy scratch, scratch. Freaky, freaky fresh. Freaky, freaky fresh. I'm not excited for him to go into the cone of shame. Oh, yeah, he's gonna get cone of shame soon. He's gonna get neutered. This way. Because when we got him, he was not neutered. Hey, so he's he's about to wear the cone of shame like an up. And the, uh, my heart is gonna break. Because he's, he's my fur baby, as my mom likes to say. Yeah, where did Fur Baby come from? I don't know. She just started saying Fur Baby. And I always you, thought... It I always, makes you think of Furby. I always thought of For Real Friends when she would say it. For Real Friends. You ever remember those giant horses they had? Nope. Okay, so like around the Christmas season, you know how everyone always unveiled like their big toys then. Yeah. So there was this toy of... Big Toys R Us big book? Yeah, Probably. Um, it was a for real friend, you know how they had like little things like dogs and cats, oh, but they had, they had a baby horse, like a pony, and it was like, <laughs> swinging that, oh, like, woo, yeah, really cavalier. It's like, the pony was like life size, and you, or as life size as they could make it, and you could get on the pony and you could ride it. What? And I was like, that's the greatest thing I've ever seen and I want one. I never got it though. What? How big I mean, was this, then? Uh, oh, there's two shinies in here. I want to say, like, you know, like, where that bar is on the fireplace? Yeah. Like, that middle bar? Yeah. I want to say it was about that big. So maybe... Three and a half feet? Yeah. I mean, it was for little kids. Was three feet, yeah. Specifically oh, for... Specifically for little girls, so they're pretty small. I was a yellow one. Ew! Somebody's face got like crunched in. Tag your body horror. Tag your blood. Oh, it's brown. I can never get these colors right. They always look so weird. Yeah, that's brown. I oh. thought it was white. Oh, that's Jordan Fisher's face. Cause look, he's wearing his jacket. Save Jordan Fisher. We gotta, we gotta protect Jordan Fisher. That was the name of an episode. This game. Is really gonna try and kill Jordan Fisher. I'm. I think I told you that already. But I'm yeah. telling you again. Yeah, because he's black. Yeah. Black guys always die first. Horror movie trope. Well, now Rami Malek died first. <laughs> yeah. Eh? I I don't I don't count him. Because <laughs> he's not a he's not a playable character. Yeah. All right, I'll get. I'll give him this because he's probably in a lot of pain at this point now. I'm slow. I'm in pain. Yeah, because I'm like you're supposed it's to be. It's freezing. Like, yeah, you're supposed to be a teenager. Here we go. Does he look like anything this. like a teenager? Not really. It's not that thin. You can keep walking. I'm just. I'm just in pain, dude. His butt sways a little bit. He's got the, the, the femme booty shake. Yeah. Shake it, shake it, booty quick, it rolls it around. Whoa. Are we inside the church part now? You mean the sanatorium? Well, there was... It said, like, chapel. Oh, maybe. Yeah, right there. Okay, so we're not in there. We just, we, we found another way in besides the front door. Okay. The oh, chapel, guy. yeah, the chapel was where the guy was. Oh, and I didn't see this. Because I was too busy trying to figure out if I could go back outside. Well, here's a, here's a thing. Administration notes. 
Be advised that the minor rescue is due to be completed is due to be completed tomorrow, fifth of January, as the number of surviving minors is unknown. Prepare all beds in Ward A. The press shall be in attendance tomorrow. We must be seen to be giving the minors, minors the best possible care. Yeah. Note that press visitors are not to be allowed into the psychiatric ward. Failure in this regard would re reflect badly upon Mr. Bragg and the sanatorium as a whole and shall result in on-the-spot dismissal. Look, I get... Well, You'll need a nose peg. Those guys smell awful. Look, I get that they're trying to do mood lighting with the fire, but it makes it really hard to read. And that's why I was, like, stammering. Oh. Because I couldn't read it very well. I thought it was also, like, the, the size the, of the print and everything. This, cause it's the like, page crinkle, too. Like, the way it folded and, like, some of the ink mm. made it look weird. Oh, is this, is this why this is boring? Because it's all just exploration? Yeah. It's like, you think, you think you'd be cool, because I like stuff like, um... I'm like, this is what you... This is, I think, what you would like the most. I know, because this I is like, all atmosphere. Yeah, and I like stuff like Outlast, and that's, like, you're basically going around in, like, um, an asylum. Outrun. And, like, a sanatorium and Outlast. asylum are, like, synonyms, or they're close or something. I don't know completely, because I don't know fast. sanatoriums, but, like... They're similar, so I should be interested. Ooh, camera. But I'm so not. Just because of who I'm with. Who found broken camera? Aw, his fingers are all bloody. Probably from bending his fingers so weird. <laughs> Just logic. You can't, even, you can't even do how their fingers were, like, holding that. Unless you you're, like, double-jointed. You can, unless if you do it like this. Oh, like, like look, at, look at the chair. Oh, uh, yeah, you actually have to be gripping something. You like have this. to be gripping something to do that. But even still, it's really uncomfortable and not practical. Yeah, but now, now I feel like I'm playing um, Arkham, because now I'm in a sanatorium. And you're just exploring? Yeah. You're, you're, way, you're, less, way less crazy clowns, though. You're Batman exploring because you're a detective. Assaulted on Blackwood Mountain. Reporter. Hmm. I think that said reporter assaulted. Yep. Yeah. We found the camera. We found this. And we're starting to fill in the what happened in the past. In the 50s. This, this is good. Yeah. This is fine. I'm okay with this question mark. I feel like I should not go to the morgue. Did you hear that? Yeah, they're playing music. It's like Jumanji. You gotta go to it. I thought I was... No, I, I thought I was talking more about the... Uh, I thought it sounded like the wolves. Oh, uh, I heard, like, thumping like in music. I think that's coming from Dad's room. No, that came from the game. Uh, I'll listen back to it. Medical notes. Reports are... Fo report follows re the initial state of the 12 miners after the collapse of the mine and the subsequent rescue of Blackwood Pines. On receipt of the 12 patients at the sanatorium's medical facility, we had fully expected to find s emaciated shells of men starved and confused. Thankfully, the miners appear cognate and relatively healthy. Oh, they probably ate each other. Attributed to their apparent discovery of emergency food supplies in the mine, inhibited respiratory function was detected in a few of the older men as predicted, as well as symptoms of pneumonia. Psychologically, after being trapped for 23 days, the shock of reintegration has been difficult for some of the group. Though their outward health is better than expected, they do seem affected by their time in the mine. Due to the delicate nature of some of the patients, we have closed off the A-wing of the sanatorium. Psychological evaluations will take place as soon as possible. The men with respiratory problems have undergone a bronoscopy Bron and are prescribed a course of something that are others are simply kept under strict 24-hour observation. One of these guys actually tried to bite me. I'm going to report it to Dr. Bowen. Yeah, I think they ate each other. Because that's how that shit tends to work. <laughs> you look healthy on the outside, but you're psychologically breaking because you ate a person? Yeah, I think, uh, and one of the guys tried to bite a nurse or, or a doctor or whatever. Yeah, I think someone. I think they ate somebody down there. Let's take in this bountiful food for our friend Mike. <laughs> oh 
Don't say Mike, because I'm Mike. Oh, I forgot. I just said a random name. Steven. Let's take it. No, Steven, like Steven Universe, can't do that. It's wrong. Oh, it's Bethany. <laughs> take in the bountiful food of Joel. Hey, that's even worse. Joel. It's the same name, you're just pronouncing it differently. No, I did the J-O-E-L-L-E. Oh. Oh, shit. Gross. You gonna take it? Is this gonna be ours? Since you don't have the, since you don't have the gun anymore? It's a big knife. A machete? Uncle Machete? Oh, yeah, but then you're, you're... Right in your back, back. Back pocket. Put it in Same. your butt. Oh, he's, oh got he's, got, he's got painter's pants. That's why I love painter's pants. Because you just hold things. Mm -hmm. How convenient. <sighs> Are you just preparing yourself for all different kinds of possible jump scares, man? Yeah. Ew. That can't it's be good. Training chair. At least it's not an electric chair. And then there's the bad mojo. The, yeah, the the two-way mirror. Oh, are we not? Uh, okay, thanks, game. Uh, two-way mirror. Uh, maybe not even a two-way mirror, so that they could watch them, and observe them. Mm -hmm. mm. You mean an observation window? Yeah, that thing. Good job. I've only seen like two-way mirrors in a couple places. So it was really freaky. Target. <laughs> Is it two-way mirror and target? Yeah, it, it's like, um... Maybe it's not a two-way mirror, like, exactly. But it's like where their manager's office is. Oh, you mean a one-way mirror? One-way mirror, yeah. Oh that's my god, what that is. Because it's just a mirror to you, but they can see out. Because mm -hmm. it's, like, by the registers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I saw a two-way mirror, um, at... Um, the anime in one of the convention halls. I don't remember where. Or wasn't it? Oh, there was a doge. It might not have been a convention hall. It might have been one of the hotels. Um, but either way, there was a two-way mirror. So you could both see each other? Well, I was fixing my hair and then, like, I squinted because I thought I saw something. Reports, reporters and other snoopers to be kept away at all costs. Telegram! Incident update. Twelve survivors received at sanitarium. Stop. Showing signs of mental trauma and may need to contain. Stop. Local press now have scent of blood. Stop. Becoming a problem. Stop. Please advise further. Stop. But I was fixing my hair and I glanced back and I saw like chairs and stuff on the other side and I was like, oh. Huh. So that was my two-way mirror experience. Huh. Well, okay. Should I go where that wolfie was? Wolfie, wolfie. Oh, hi. You look friendly. This is a papyrus from Undertale. Is he friendly? Yes. Is he the one that uh, Does Ross the Skeletor? Yeah, yeah. always gave Skeletor voice? Yeah. Yes, that's it. Right now, yeah, that's coming to PS4. Yeah, that was announced. We're getting that. You're, yeah, you're, I'm gonna make you play it. You're, you've apparently decided that for me. Yes, you're going to play it. I think you'll like it. Rat, raton. Like, like you like, like. Oh Pokemon. look, I'm on the other side. You like Pokemon, right? I do like Pokemon. You like, you like going on little adventures. And and battles. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like bullet hell games though. Ew. Yeah. You and don't me touch both. That. I know it sounds obvious. Just don't touch it. Don't go anywhere near it. Your hand in the box? Do not go anywhere near it. Do you know something about it? Yes. It will cut off your fingers. Ew. Or like a couple of them, not your like all your fingers. Because like, you I think... can't like break out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a trap to, I think it's like kind of like a bear trap, and it like gets your um, middle and ring. 
I think. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah, so just, just avoid that. Yeah, I don't need that in my life. I got nobody and nobody for cares about me. Freshly dead. <laughs> Never heard of that. No, it was in uh, it was in Young Frankenstein. Oh. When they're passing like all the skulls in the office, and Igor is like the last one. Oh, I I don't want to open these. I think these are fine. Uh, dead people. Let's do it. <sighs> cool out the oven, Joel. It's a freezer. Those beautiful eyes. Mm. Ew. I actually. Oh, like but that. I need that. I'm gonna need that to get in. So I had I'll to put do it that. back. Yeah, good idea. Or can you not? No, I can't. You, you want to check the other just things at it. just in case? In case there's any other finding dads. Do you, again, do you know something I about this? I don't know. This? I don't remember. The only thing I remember was that. Oh, that I needed that one? Yeah, because like Markiplier out. had his fingers cut off in it, <clears throat> and I was like, oh, okay, take a note of that. Registration of death. Medical certificate. Sarah Smith. Body cannot deteriorate until six to eight hours after death. Sections of the intestine and kidneys were apparently eaten by the attacker. See, see, something's going on. See, so you found a cluey clue. That did bang like a clue, right? And they go ding. Yeah, the death certificate see, and so the I'm skull. Right. I'm right. I'm right. And the telegram and the map. Oh, well, we had the map already. And there's another. There's cluey. one more. See, I'm finding you all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I'm just, just afraid so that now? yeah that I'm gonna get jump scared because that's what these games do. It's what these games like to do. Look, there's not. Oh, okay, there's a thing. Name tag. Attack by inmate. Fatal laceration to throat. Ooh. Ooh. You ever think about how weird it is that in a in a Disney movie someone brags about how many throats they've slit? Which movie? Aladdin. I had to slit a few throats, but I got it. it. Yeah. Yeah, but he's a bad guy, so it's whatever. <laughs> you ever think how like All right, here Disney we go. always avoids the the good guy didn't actually kill him, they just fell to their death. Oh, except for when Eric impales Ursula. Yeah, that's different, because it wasn't Ariel, but she's the main character. But, like, most villains just fall off things. Yeah. Uh, Beasts, I guess, technically throws Gaston off of him. Yeah. Dr. Facilia gets eaten by shadows. Yeah. People, like, say, <laughs> people say that was, like, one of the most traumatic Disney deaths that they saw. Facilia? Yeah. Uh, but I would, I would... shadows... Oh, I because they make it look so terrifying with him like begging for his life and trying to crawl away. Mm, yeah, they do the they do the uh, the voodoo dolls rising from the ground also. They do and they do the thing with the voodoo. They put their hand, they put their hand in the dirt and they're like oh, yeah see and it. and dragging back the dragging yeah the dragging of the fingers like and he's trying to <laughs> as his fingers are I promise I'll pay you all back yeah. I promise. And I suppose I should have been scared, scared of this, but because we were talking about something else, that just the jump scare with the wolf didn't really scare me. See? You just need to talk through jump scares, and then you're fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it's the guy. Oh, Holy crap. Jump through the window, Danisa Machna style. At what price? Mike got to the morgue. Mike still had a usable machete. Because oh, I didn't have to cut my fingers off. You didn't have to... Yeah, you didn't have to cut your fingers off to get out. 
Oh. So I that would have that would have um, fucked up my machete then. Mhm. I saved you your fingers and your machete. And my machete. You're welcome. Oh, I should have read it as uh, Hanzo though. <laughs> but at what cost? <laughs> Talent can restore your friend's empire. Blah, 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 blah. Or are you serious? Do I have to jump out the window? <laughs> I don't know. Dude, I don't remember this part. Oh, no. But he can observe. Because that's the way I came. I ran away from the wolfie. So then that was not a nice stairs. wolfie. And now there's, there's stairs. stairs. See, not everything is about jumping through things. Whoop. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Watch out for you. Watch out for your fingers. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. See, and this part is also, like, really long and dragged out, too. This is, uh... Oh, okay, now I'm back in... He's right. Now I'm back in the main hall. But the door's open. Or, no, this door was already open, but now I can get in. Yes, you have a card. I have the key card. Alright. I stole it from the dead person. Yeah. Yeah, good idea. I don't know how many times we're gonna need it. Oh, that one. Don't hurt the dog. Don't hurt the dog. Oh, you're right. This is the good doge. Would be nice to him. Why are you holding your hand out? The TV can't <laughs> feel you. But that's how you calm a dog. You gotta let him. Gotta let him sniff you. Oh, we did the thing. Did you get it, doge? Look, I'm charitable. I don't know. You're really romantic. Uh, yeah, the, my romance changed for that, too. Man's best friend. You didn't kick Mike the wolf. Mike didn't kick the wolf. Because the totem told me not to. Is it this one? Yeah. Well, you haven't well, reached haven't, that point. I haven't reached that point yet, but the, do the wolf is going to be nice to me. Woo. That's the direct repercussion. Oh, but he's still not cool with me just yet. I'm like, I'm not sure how I feel about you. Approach. Let's try it. We can always have an emergency shutdown if we get this wrong. Yeah, I got my hand on the PS button. <gasps> we did it! His name is Bowie. I'm gonna call you Bowie. <laughs> Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Oh boy! You made a friend. And look, now he's gonna heal. Alright! You, you made a friend. Mike made a friend! You wanna end the episode on Let's this end it on Mike, that. On this good note. Uh, let's end it on that. Next time on JB Gaming. We have friends. Bowie! We have a Bowie. Joe, we have another Bowie. We do. We got a Doge. He's so cute.